How's it going, everybody? Level and Diecast. Uh, we're tuning in today because we're going to check out our Matchbox Real Working Wigs Rock Through. This is part number six. This is Dirt Machines. Uh, so everything that moves dirt, touches dirt, wants to be dirt, all that good stuff. Um, I intentionally left this open in the background because I think it's going to be pretty cool once we get to the end and go through all these. Uh, we're going to start with a relatively new casting. This is the Road Scraper. This is its debut color, ink uh, construction. Um, I'm a big Rannick fan myself. And, uh, you know, ink's, ink's all right. But I think Rannick looks better. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, this has, you know, your opening. Or not your opening, but your sliding piece here for... Scraping and dumping on the bottom here. And then we'll take a look at the bottom real quick. Road Scraper. L50. It's when it debuted. There's nothing on the front piece. Real Working Rig number 46. So give you an idea where they're at. So that's going to be our first model. Now, we're going to jump right into the Rannick because that's the second version that we got. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this one, way better than that one. Just saying, just throwing that out there. It's my own level M opinion, but I really wish that the Rannick theme would get as much love as the ink construction theme does. But maybe someday, maybe someday. Uh, there are quite a few, but, but not enough. Not enough for sure. Um, you know, these are relatively new ones. We've gone through these. Um, I did a unboxing of these as well in 48 is your release of this one um, this one came out this year I think uh, in the first batch batch a I believe so I'm set this to the side those two guys go in there uh, we're gonna switch a little bit we're gonna throw this guy up here this is the New Holland um, tractor i don't know what model it is to be honest with you guys uh, i'm looking at another one here just to see if it says and it's just a bi-directional tractor that's basically what it is um you know when this model debuted i honestly thought that at some point in time we would see a lot of attachments for this we would see a lot of uh, different things for it and whatnot i mean you have all these attachment points on the front you have attachment points in the back um, but it doesn't really, never really amounts to anything. Now, um, this does, you know, lift and dump and do all the, all the stuff you'd expect, um, from the scoop, uh, the cab, the real one, the cab rotates and they can drive it frontwards or backwards in the steers. Uh, this is your deets on the bottom. There you go. New Holland bi-directional tractor. Uh, this one is D16. It's when it debuted. Real working rig number 26. Sorry, guys, having some issues with the lights. Just bear with me. So, real working rig 26. So, this is what the what debut color in blue. Okay, so we got debut in blue. Then, the first recolor came in yellow. Now, there's no difference between the yellow and, you know, the blue other than it's yellow and blue all the tampo details on it are the same the colored wheels are the same all that stuff is the exact same there's no difference between the two of those and you know frankly it's it's all right it's all right uh like i said no no new attachments or anything nothing ever happened with that sorry guys we're having some technical difficulties we'll get through this um so d45 this is your uh second version like I said, no attachments or anything. Notice how it says bi-directional on the back there between the axle and the rear. Um, because that, that was modified for some reason. So we're going to set this guy to the side. Then we got this guy. So this guy was the first re-release of the new age, quote unquote, real working rigs. And this guy is the exact same. I mean, there there's a minuscule differences between this and the original release, um, but you'll notice on the base here, 
Um, it no, they modified the base, so it no longer says bi-directional on the back. Uh, it's kind of hard to see your base code in there. M28. So, I mean, as far as the colors and stuff go, there's really no difference. Uh, there's some tampo difference on the headlights. They're a little bit smaller on the re-release. But the color and all that good stuff, everything is the same. Nothing fancy. Now, no, you're not having deja vu. This guy came out in the new age, quote unquote, Mission Force packs. You know, those big giant ones that came on the big giant blister. Um, there was three of them, four of them. Uh, they came out sometime last year, I believe. It was all re-release stuff. Nothing, nothing fancy or whatever. It was just, it was really a bummer. But this was re-released again. In 22 is the new base code. So um, there's, there's really zero differences now. I mean, this is just a recopy of that one right there. There's, there's like zero differences. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't think there's any difference at all. But like I said, I have every single real working rig released. So it's a different base code. And for me, that means it's a different model. Okay. Still real working rig number 26, but just another version, just another version. I'll set that guy there. Uh, we're going to flip the script a little bit because... Um, so this was a generic that was licensed. Now, the crazy thing is, is that is the only licensed model that will be in this set. Uh, this next guy is one of the generics that came towards the end of the line on the original release of Real Working Rigs. And it was kind of one of the things that the people that collected Real Working Rigs could tell that the line was definitely, definitely going away. Um, new castings were just generics. They didn't have a lot to them. They weren't all that great. You can just kind of tell that the writing was on the wall. Now, this is a pretty nice model. Um, it's rubber tracks. Um, the movable piece in the back is very minimal. Um, but in here it clicks, which is pretty nice. Uh, these are all uh, rubber tracks. Very, very stiff. Try to rotate those every once in a while. Uh, but this is a not a bad one. Jones equipment. It's generic though. You know, it's it's alright though. I think it's it's okay for being a generic. There's not a lot to it. It is a relatively large model. Um not an ex exorbitant amount of plastic, not an exorbitant amount of plastic or uh metal. All terrain tractor is its actual name. Uh interesting here is both those base pieces for both tracks are the same plastic mold. So you get double double the info. Um, super hard to see the base code. It's E36. Um, Real working break 34, 2012. Like I said, this was towards the end of the run. This isn't a bad model. It's just, you know, it's just you could tell it was it was on the on the fritz. Now we only got this one time. So this is the only model or the only color we ever got of that guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into some heavy hitters. So I'm going to make a little bit of room real quick. And kind of move some of these yellow ones out because we got a bunch of them. Um, we're going to move on to the road grader. Uh, this is its debut color in yellow. Nothing fancy, nothing doing. Um, I do like that the blade piece is sprayed silver. So it's not chrome, sprayed silver, which is nice because chrome would have been not appropriate. Um, you know, on the back of the card, the original card, um, which I don't have an extra one of these to show you guys, but they made it look like the blade moved up and down too, which realistically it does in real life. Um, and this is a separate piece, but the actual model does not do that. All it does is turn. That's it. That's all it does. Okay. Uh, it's nice though. It's nice. Uh, take a look at the bottom here. So this one does not have a base code because this is before they were stamping them with the base codes. Uh, but there's your name, Road Grader. Road Working Rig number 20. 
So this model is almost entirely metal, which is really, really nice. It's pretty cool. Set that guy there, because there's a lot of yellow over there. Uh, its first recolor was this, and you might be saying, no, that version came out recently. Well, you wouldn't be lying. Um, we'll get to that one right next. So this was the original release of this red. This deco was re-released recently in the new version of Real Working Rigs. I should just start calling it Real Working Rigs 2.0. E17 is your base code. Nothing to do with this one, Alder. Um, this is a pretty nice one. I like this this version. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I like the black and the red. Definitely like when construction equipment is kind of broke up from the typical yellow all the time. So I'm going to set this guy to the side real quick because this one is Real Working Rig 2.0. Okay. So I didn't realize this until I went through the video that they debut they redid this deco literally right after the last time they used this deco, which I did not realize. Um, but it's fine. Now there are a number of differences between the original and this one. So we'll take a look at those in just one second. N38 is your base code. That's when this came out. Made in Thailand, of course. Appreciate all the workers in Thailand. All right, now, for uh, illustration purposes, the left one is the original, and the right one is the re-release. So they got this box around the word Alder in the front. Um, the font sizes and stuff changed on that R25 grader at the front. Taking a look at the side, your original is on the top, your re-release at the bottom. Now, the top has additional tampo on the cab. You see that flat black? The re-release has no tampo on the cab. And then looking at the side, it's pretty much the exact same in the back. Taking a look at the back, there's no uh, there's no rear tampo. Uh, the casting changed just a little bit. Um, they just kind of trued up a little things, a little bit here and there. It's still flat black and stuff. Obviously, they changed plastic for the wheels, so it's not as shiny as it used to be. Taking a look at the base. The base is unchanged. So there you go. Not bad. So if you missed out on the, you know, re-releasing these guys, you know, I tell everybody, just buy them. There's always going to be something different, with with the exception of this guy, because he was re-released twice in the same deco. Anyways, uh, this is your last version uh, that's currently been released. This is a new deco. Um, I like it. I like the gray and the um, the gray cab top and the gray blade. A little, a little breakup, and I like the uh, the uh, lip, the yellow lip on the wheels. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Take a look at that just real quick. Pretty pretty realistic deco, I think. Looks pretty good. MTOR. Not exactly sure what that represents, but it doesn't matter. Still pretty cool. Um, lots of yellow on this model. L42 is your base coat. Again, real working rig 20. Not bad. Set this guy kind of kind of in the back. I kind of like how this is looking. This is kind of what I'm going for, guys. Uh, we're going to save the biggest heavy hitter for last. So this is our second to last model. Uh, there is no such thing as dirt movers without a bulldozer. You got to have a bulldozer. Um, this is its debut deco. This is just called bulldozer. It's, you know, nothing, nothing doing. This is a pretty good model. It's got rubber tracks. Uh, it's got quite a few moving fart parts. It's just, you know, the, the stuff you'd expect a bulldozer to have. But the one thing I don't like about this model is how skinny it is. It's super, super skinny. Now, I'm sure that they did that for just material usage, just not use up so much material, but, you know, it is what it is. So the blade is metal, and it does move up and down. Not a lot, but it does, and it does stay up. So, and then in the back, um, the claw moves back and forth. However, you cannot drop this down to dig in the dirt, unfortunately. And then, of course, 
there are your tracks very skinny tracks super skinny and super hard to see so row working rig number nine bulldozer e27 is your base code up there it's a pretty nice model cl7000 not exactly sure what that represents but it's supposed to be the um whatever i guess all right so i got these backwards guys so this is actually uh the first um let's see here yeah this was the first one so i got those backwards guys i i apologize so the first one i showed you is actually the last version uh e27 base code i apologize about that we uh we're gonna go backwards on the bulldozer it happens it happens c21 so this is your uh debut color right here so i apologize for that c21 and this lime green it's pretty nice so the yellow one was just a recolor of this one same same basic deco but they did add some stuff on the top they got the deco additional deco on the top but the side is is pretty close so not bad not bad so apologize for getting those out of order uh the last bulldozer we have ink because of course ink construction uh we have not seen the bulldozer in rannick uh, we have not seen the bulldozer in real working rigs 2.0 so that's pretty interesting i think that this one being a generic would be easy however uh, this one does have quite a bit of metal on it and it does look like it's pretty expensive to assemble so i don't know if it fits you know real working rigs 2.0 budget or not e07 is your base code again real working rig number nine uh, you know, I really wish we'd get this in Rannick, but all for you guys who like ink, there you go. You guys get it all. All right, we're going to move on to the last guy, the biggest heavy hitter. And we're going to start with Rannick, or I'm sorry, with uh, ink right away. So this is one of the coolest real working rigs they ever made. Uh, just absolutely awesome. I mean, it's it has got... All the working features you need it is beefy it is substantial it is very realistic it is a generic like I said all these are generics except for that New Holland but you know this deco was re-released and uh, we will go over that when we get there so so top piece moves in and out in your bucket clicks back and forth get the full scoop out of it the whole beam comes up and down get all that in there and then of course 360 degree rotation so this is the way it's supposed to sit just like this but for some reason this is how it's this is how it used to be packaged in the blister now i'm assuming they probably did this because it may have been easier to put that in the blister but this is how, this is actually the way it's supposed to sit so Take a look at the base code real quick flip it over d45 this is real working rig number 20 let me look at another one i got here 28 so real working rig number 28 so if you guys are keeping track there you go and it's just called an excavator nothing fancy nothing fancy so we're gonna make some room move a couple of these over just so i can have that guy sit over there uh second version this is like the fake rannick it's in all the right colors but it's not rannick uh i was a little i was a little bummed out because uh, i think rannick actually existed at the time uh, or was relatively new when this version came out but it, it's close enough that you could use it with rannick it, it's close enough it's close enough so i like this one just because it has um you know the the cylinders are completely gray versus that guy where the just the piston was gray it's just you know it's just some some contrast in there uh take a look so e16 is your base code excavator 7400 that's pretty cool it's pretty cool get that guy on the side uh third version a little bit more sinister um i believe 
I'm leaning towards, I believe, this one. So none of those models out there, except for the one I mentioned, came in a mission force pack. I think this guy did. If I remember correctly, this guy came in a mission force pack. I'm fairly certain. It's ringing some bells. Um, it's a really nice version, though. I like the black and the silver. Looks really, really good. MBX Crew for Matchbox. F31 is your base code. Pretty sure this guy came out in a uh, Mission Force pack. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, fourth version. So, the last three, they kind of have the same thing going on with the, you know, the scoops on the side. Kind of outlining all the details of the casting. Which is fine. Most of the versions did that. I just think that these ones are a little, a little different, I guess. I really wish that this one did not have a yellow boom. The whole yellow boom arm just doesn't doesn't fit. Uh, black, silver, orange, you know, any of those three colors would have worked just fine. But number three, take a look at the bottom. L25 is your base code. A lot easier to see the base on this one versus the other ones. Uh, and of course, just in case you guys didn't realize, full rubber tracks, because of course, uh, of course. Now, 2.0, Ink Construction 2.0. So this Deco was re-released. Uh, no, we can't get we can't get a, a Rannick version, but hey, we can get an Ink, you know, re-release. Thanks, Matchbox Team. Appreciate that. Now, there are a number of differences on this one versus the original. So, of course, we're going to take a look at that. So, the original is on the left. New one's on the right. So, the original had flat black printing. The new one has gloss black printing. So, in case anybody was curious, in case you didn't buy them, that is the number one difference between the two. The original having the flat black print versus the new one having the gloss black um, everything else is the same. Tampo quality is, you know, negligible. M13 is the re-released Deco. So there you go. Like I said, if you guys don't buy the re-released versions, you're going to be disappointed. All right, we're going to wrap up with the very last version that we've gotten. Now we've gotten... Uh, three versions, the last three versions of this came in Real Working Rigs 2.0. So we've gotten this three times. One was a re-release Deco. The other two were new Decos. So I'm happy about that. Um, I love the I love the Excavator. I think it's perfectly fine. I just, you know, there's, if you guys have gone through these, these sets with me, or these parts, I guess you could say, there's a lot of models that haven't come back out. And they continue to re-release new Decos. Um... The new case just dropped with the front-loading garbage truck, and the other ones are re-released. I, I just, to be honest with you, I, I'll, I'm telling you guys right now. I'm telling you guys right now. Unfortunately, in my opinion, I think that the real working rigs is already on its way out again. I think it is. I think we have maybe another year, and it'll be gone with the wind again. Because... They don't understand. You got to have all new decos. You got to have new, at least a couple new castings, at least one new casting every other batch. You know, you got to keep keep people buying. So in eleven is your base coat on this guy. I really like the green. I think it looks real good. I like the solid gray of the boom. Um, maybe on this one I would add the pistons a different color, but you know. I mean, they're, they're sort of a different gray, but, you know, just a little monotony. And there's a lot of detail in the boom. You can see there's a lot of detail in this plastic. Looks really, really good. So, all right. So just, even though I don't want to do this, because, you know, because I like ink construction, but I will be uh, compliant to everybody else. We're going to throw all the ink stuff up here. Just so you guys can... Oh, just so you guys can see that after I murdered the camera. Holy cow. That was crazy. 
totally crazy. I was trying to save the excavators. Now, you know what? It happens. It's real life here. All right, we're going to scoot those guys in. There we go. All right, guys. That is Real Working Rigs walkthrough part number six. That is digging machines. I uh, hope you guys found, you know, at least a one or two you weren't aware of, or maybe one or two you didn't have, or one or two you now want to have. Because um, that'll be cool. I'll be happy with that. So, appreciate it. And uh, we're going to catch you guys later. So, Love Them Diecast saying, peace.